This is a project I'm going to do with my class uh, the last week of school before we get out for the holiday break. Um, this is a program called BloxCat. It runs in the browser, so that's really nice for those of us that have Chromebooks in school. Um, that means that we can all use the software. You don't have to download anything, so that makes it nice. Um, and this runs on top of OpenSCAD, and it's a programming program. Um, programming type CAD system where you input different shapes and then you use math to manipulate the shapes. Uh, I've written a rather large program here that I don't necessarily expect my students to be able to do as a freshman, uh, but I, I can expect them to change these uh, variables here uh, and then if they are more advanced they can dig into the block code. So. Uh, what they would do is input their name so let me input my name and each time I make a change over here I have to hit render for that to show up so it's there it's very tiny but it's uh, it's there in the middle uh, and then I can change my name length if I want my name to be bigger so let's try five hit render okay that's a lot bigger let's go with four for now and see how that looks. Okay, I like that. So W1 stands for width one. That's the width of these, uh, I'll call them spires of the snowflake. So let's change that to three. And you can pick anything you want. Uh, it's totally up to you. Okay, and then we'll change the diameter one, which is these circles down here. Let's change that to two. So at the end of the spire, there's a circle. We've changed that. And now width 2 is the width of the secondary spires that come out of this uh, the circle. Let's change that to 2 as well. And we'll change the length of those spires to 5 and see what happens. Okay, so now we have the little extra ones coming out. And uh, let's change the angle in between these to, let's say, 60 render okay so now we have six spires coming out um, and what I did is just divided the circle by 60 and got six so uh, if you chose something like 180 you would only have two and then the length uh, there's a crossbar here and you'll just have to play with this let's try 40 and see what happens okay 40 is too long uh, let's go with 30 and see what happens here. Okay, that looks just about right. And I want this length to be a little bit more. Let's try 8 and see what we get there. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Mine's just a standard, standard snowflake there. And then I can go and change the color if I choose to. Let's try orange. Okay, that's pretty cool. And uh, now I'm ready to... Let me re-render it in the high res. Okay. I'm ready to generate my STL and send it to the 3D printer. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know and thanks for watching.